Now before I give you guys some instructions on our break, and before we actually head on our break, I'd like to call on a very special guest this evening to give us a few words. If I could please welcome on stage Mr. Lionel Perez. He is a lawyer by training and was elected to Montreal City Council in the Darlington District in 2009. Since 2013, he has served in the following positions on the Executive Committee. Infrastructure, Electrical Services Commission, Governance and Democracy, Intergovernmental Relations. Mr. Perez also holds various regional functions, including the Member of Montreal's Agglomeration Council, President of Montreal's Planning and Development Committee, and Vice Chair of Montreal's Inspector General Committee, as well as Board Member of Montreal Metropolitan Community. He is also an Executive Member of the Board of Directors of Yeshiva Gedola School, and Member of the Board of Directors of L'Agence Omets. He has received numerous distinctions, including Les Leaders de la Croissance in L'Actualité magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, Mr. Lionel Perez. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, a big hand of applause for the all incredible participants. It was amazing. I'm going to be brief. I know you here are. You guys are all here to hear the incredible uh, talents. Uh, I just want to say a few things. First of all, uh, congratulations to all the organizers, uh, Svelatna, Svelatna, obviously for uh, the overall chair, but everybody who's been involved. It's truly an incredible event. I love coming to it uh, every year. Uh, congratulations and, and many more. As many of you know, the municipal election is coming this year. It's once every four years. November 5th, Sunday, November 5th is coming along. I know you had a chance to hear some other, uh, uh, other candidates. I, I just want to say that it's been an honor and a privilege to be your representative for the last eight years. And I'm asking for your support once again for the next four years. I'm going to ask that you just look at my track record, you look at my accomplishments, speak to the community leaders. Uh, when there was a need, I was there, whether it be financial help, whether it be need for permits, whether it be need uh, for any kind of demands. Uh, recently, uh, I spoke to Cora about getting gazebo in the back of the uh, Fama Center, and I was able to facilitate it. Uh, UPS asked that we add some handicap um, parking uh, near the 6767 67 library. It's something that I did right away. And I, I just ask that you look at that, and it'll be my pleasure to be able to serve you in the last four years. I, I've been humbled by the support I've gotten for the last eight years. I look forward for more. And two of the most exciting uh, times as, as a city councillor were one when I was actually um, a, made a, an honorary member of a, an honorary night of the Night of Rizal, which was two years ago. Uh, it truly was a very, very warm welcome for me. But also, this past year at City Hall, I had the honor of uh, presiding with the mayor of Montreal, Mr. Denis Coderre, with whom I'm running again. Um, a very special occasion where we have this document called the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And every year uh, we translate it, the Montreal Charter of Rights and Freedoms, we, we translate it into a different language. And this year we translate it to Filipino at my request. So we had a wonderful event, a lot of the community leaders were there. And it shows to what extent the Filipino has really integrated into uh, Montreal and Quebec and Canadian society. And you're very proud of your heritage, you're proud of your language, you're proud of your community with all the incredible events that you have, and I truly feel, and you've made me feel to be truly like an adopted son. So thank you again, Mabuhai, continue, all the best.